Hello everybody. If you're clicking on this video, you're probably wondering what gynostemma is all about. Let me tell you. Gynostemma is one of my favourite herbs and it's growing in world popularity and how favourite it is in many people's herbs. It's a low growing plant with bright green leaves. Little do people know it's, it's one of, if not the best, adaptogenic herbs on the planet. It has been study, studied extensively by science and it's been shown to have as high or more than 82 saponins called gibenicides. Ginseng on the other hand only has approximately 32. These saponins, these gibenicides are responsible for many of its beneficial attributes such as being anti-stress, anti-aging, anti-inflammatory. Gynostemma contains something that inhibits nuclear kappa B, which is responsible for cell death. This substance, nuclear factor kappa B, this is at the top of research in life extension by scientists. Gynostemma has the ability to, to stop this from shutting down cellular death, resulting in a longer, healthier lifespan. Gynostemma is also called miracle grass, southern ginseng, and jagulin, sometimes called miracle green. It is from Asia, but is becoming increasingly more popular and known about in the West. The pharmacopoeia of the herbal the pharmacopoeia of herbal medicine and Chinese medicine have identified thousands of plants however there's only oh, just over a hundred in the main system that are used as the best of the best if you if you even go down further than this you're left with around 36 tonic herbs which are basically like superfoods or tonic herbs and um, they, they're safe to use they're highly beneficial for the human body they are often adaptogenic, helping our body to create homeostasis, balance and adapt to different spectrum of life, hot, cold, like too much of something, too little of something, exercise, rest, to help us in any way, the opposite sides of things. Gynostemma is this, which is known as double directional. It's one of the best, if not the best, adaptogenic herb. Rhodiola is another very powerful sturdy strong species of plant it grows in the wild in very harsh conditions and as a result it helps us to live in harsh conditions of life so one benefit of gynostemma is it's very cheap compared to other of these more expensive adaptogenic famous herbs like ginseng for example the benefits what are the benefits of gynostemma Okay, so it's life extending. The reason why it was discovered is because there's a group of people, a, a community, a culture, a society living in, a, in Asia and they were all living very healthy and very old. So people wondered like, why are these all living very healthy and very old? They're like specifically a group, like old people, centenarians and into their 90s and everything and over a hundred who are healthy. So scientists, eventually interest came along and in the end scientists, well people asked them why, what are you, what's your secret? <laughs> so health is a mixture of loads of things obviously, but they said and they testified and they, they said this is our secret, miracle grass, like this, this is what, and then they, then scientists, they were making like regular gynostemma tea and then scientists came in eventually and they measured and they found that it's true. They have like so many more saponins than all these other herbs that we know about that are very, very famous. <laughs> so, um, so this is obviously has been scientifically attributing what's been anecdotal, anecdotal evidence of the people living very healthy and, and, and old, you know? So you're not just adding years to your life, but life to your years also, as the funny phrase says. But in typical Chinese medicine, um, gynostem has been used as a liver tonic, respiratory tonic for your, resp for your respiratory system, 
lungs, breathing, air, oxygen. It's been used, J Japanese researchers have totally identified it's a tonic for your central nervous system. So it, it'll help you wake up in the morning and become activated, but at the same time it has the ability to do the opposite and to help you to relax, unwind and go sleep at night time. So it's not a sleeping herb, but it will obviously assist you to calm down, de-stress, relax. And all of these adaptogenic substances will help bring harmony and equilibrium and balance to all five organ systems. It works in all five organ systems in Chinese medicine. That's amazing. It is also traditionally used as an immune tonic and a tonic for your cardiovascular, respiratory, nervous system, immune, etc. And a digestive aid. It's very soothing on your digestive system. So this is another thing people notice. It's very calming. If you have any irritation in your immune in your digestive system, you could that's that's another thing you could consider using gynostemma for. So gynostemma is actually very good for athletes because it helps you to to adapt to the stresses that you're putting on your body to perform better and then to recover faster. So it's an excellent thing for athletes or people who are active or exercising or, or have a stressful job or stress in life or working hard or playing hard. Um, if you want to live longer, it's also a strong antioxidant. It has antioxidants in it. But guess what? The best thing is it helps increase SOD, which is our body's endogenous most powerful antioxidant, which is much more powerful to external antioxidants that we intake, such as like blueberries and you know grapes, like mangoes, fruits, vegetables. So our body produces the strongest antioxidants, such as SOD or superoxide dismutase and glutathione. So gynostemma helps increase our natural production of SOD, superoxide dismutase. And what is Jing? Jing is our life force, our energy, our recovery power, our sexual like virility, vitality, strength, potency, libido, our, our bone strength, our bone, our life span possibilities, like aging well into old age, the ability to naturally deal with stress. Jing is like a treasure, one of the three treasures in Chinese medical, herbal medicine. So Gynostemma is a is a is, a, is a, it's an antioxidant which can be which will prevent the leakage of Jing because cellular and body wide natural inflammation is one of the natural like sappers or users of Jing our Jing stored genetical ancestral energy that we inherit genetically from the sperm and the ova and from all the generations before us. So really, we want to really try and stop the leakage of our gene and over-stressing, over-taxing, over-exercising, overdoing anything, over anything, sexual activities, stress, work, not enough sleep, etc. Shizandra berry is actually one of the, the most famous ones for stopping the leakage of gene too. So I'd recommend Shizandra berry. It's brilliant. <laughs> it's many people's number one herb as well, actually. Um, so what else can I say about gynostemma? So it's not only is it good for people who want to exercise, it's very, very effective for people who want to lose weight. This has been shown and it's been tested and it's been proven by the people. So if you want to gain weight or lose weight, it's actually very handy for thin, skinny people who want to gain weight too. So. But it's more famous for people wanting to lose weight. It actually hires your metabolism a little bit but without making you become too high or age quickly as a result, nothing like that. In fact, it's, it's longevity promoting, but it will help give you a boost and rev you up just a little bit. It's not a stimulant though, it's all about balance and equilibrium. So it is um, good, it's been shown to be very effective and helpful for people who want to lose weight. Um, so for all of these reasons, and for cost effective, price effective, it's a really, really good thing to try out. In my shop, I have it here, I have, um, I sell it as a packet. This is actually to rejuvenate. This is like, <laughs> this is a really good formula. 
this is like a, such a good formula. I love this. This is like probably my flagship most important formula to have. It's for replenishing gin. It's really incredible. I recommend checking that out. I'll leave links below the video in the description. But um, if you want the extract powder of this gynostema, you can get it here in this type of packet. 100 gram, 50 gram or 500 gram. And this is the loose tea. Um, okay, so here's the loose tea. Anyway, I opened it there. So I'll open to show you what it looks like. Hmm. Yeah, I forgot to mention that like gynostem is actually like naturally sweet. And it expands a lot when you make tea out of it. <laughs> it's tasty. It's a nice tea. It's like green tea except much better really, in my opinion. This is like super herb. Green tea is good and has lots of antioxidants, but uh, this is definitely better and it's been shown by the people who live very old, very healthy and in traditional Chinese medicine. So yeah, I'd recommend giving it a shot if you're interested. Um, it's a nice tea. It's my partner, my girlfriend Sally, she actually really likes this. I take it too, of course, but she's a bit sensitive to other herbs. Like She's, she's very sensitive to things. But uh, this is one of the things she's taking a little bit of a shiner for and it helps her with her exercise and losing weight and <laughs> just general well-being. And that's another thing, it's a spirit enhancer. It's like um, known as a Shen tonic. So in, in China there's three treasures. Having a herb that has one is considered really cool. If you, if you have two, it's excellent. And if you have three, it's like amazing. But this is a Qi tonic. It's a Jing tonic. And it's also a Shen tonic. So it actually will help to uplift your mood, to give you a boost mentally, emotionally, spiritually. So that's pretty awesome. So there you go. I hope this video has been helpful. And if you have any more, if you have any questions or comments or any questions about herbs or or health even, um, if you want me to suggest anything or give you any like advice on anything like that, just leave any questions or comments below. And I'll see you again in another video. Take care and to your health.